once the Fugitive Slave Act happened, uh, uh, free men of color were flying toward Canada. And it was one of the things that really brought about the North's outrage. And um, one of the things that really led up to the war. The idea behind the compromise is to preserve the Union, which is something I believe you have said on several occasions in the House, is of utmost importance to, maintain, to maintaining peace and tranquility. You will notice that a number of the characters in this play say and do awful things. They're an inferior race of beings, and they can never be equal to whites. They belong in the southern plantations or back in Africa. And the sooner men like Dyer and those other abolitionists face the facts, the better it'll be for all of us. Part of the challenge of this play, of performing this play, it seems to me, um, is to make these people reasonable. Um, uh, you know, they believed they had excellent and well thought out and biblically supported uh, uh, bases for these opinions. Um, so it's an easy trap to fall into to, I think, sometimes to, you know, distance yourself from the things these people say. Um, uh, but don't do that. Stand behind your characters uh, and understand that, you know, these in the world they live in, these are reasonable people who hold, in fact, popular opinions. The chair recognizes Mr. Larned. Will Mr. Larned kindly step forward? Senator Douglas, one high in the councils of this nation, says that it is the duty of every citizen who respects the Constitution to aid in carrying out and enforcing the fugitive law, a law which I do not hesitate to declare the most infamous ever passed by the representatives of a free people. <laughs> 